Asher. Yeah, dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, throw it in there right by that bush. That's good, that's good. Do that. <laughs> the lines don't mean anything. I'll, I'll, I'll get some out here, though. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay, quiet. What do you want, uh, Coach? You want me to say the other line or just to think? Yeah, say the other line, but look at that. No, no you get up. I mean, you, you know. Okay, first thing. And rub your butt. I hear you. Is Chuck out? Yes, sir. All right, we're rolling. Mm. Dust. <laughs> ah. <sighs> thanks. I like that. He just takes the wind and just says, thanks. They want action pictures, damn it. It's what we're getting paid for. Try it again. Print the other two takes. American West of John Ford. You'd have to look hard to find them, but 90,000 people live here, the entire Navajo Nation. There are no television antennas or telephone poles. It's just like, just like it was when America was 13 colonies in a dream. This place makes it seem like it wasn't that long ago. On the maps of Arizona and Utah, this is called Monument Valley. But to me, it'll always be John Ford country. As a matter of fact, folks call this Ford's Point. When you stand here and look around you, you don't have to ask why John Ford loves to make westerns or why we like to go see them. I've been a student of John Ford for a few years. He doesn't make pictures about good guys or bad guys. He makes stories about people. They bend or they break or hold their ground depending on the kind of people that they are. Of course, when Westerns were first being made, it was a different story. 